Congratulations, Biomat. March Business of the Month. Hello, Spanish Fork. I'm Wendy Osborne, and I'm here today with Jesse and with Lance. Uh, from the Spanish Fork Chamber of Commerce celebrating uh, Biomat's Business of the Month. Yeah. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you. Um, Jesse, tell us a little bit about your organization. For those out here in Spanish Fork that don't know anything about Biomat, tell them about what your organization does. Awesome. We are uh, a plasma collection center who we collect plasma from donors and we make medications into it uh, from that plasma and we give them to people who have life-threatening diseases or things that they need um, that plasma for. Oh, okay, yeah. so Jesse, tell us a little bit about how that plasma helps individuals, or how plasma helps. Plasma helps people because they can't produce some of the antibodies or some of the things that are necessary for them to live. Um, we have uh, people with hemophilia where their blood doesn't clot the right way, and so they take plasma-derived medication, and then they're able to take that, and then they are able to clot. Uh, Jesse, tell me a little bit also about how does this help donors in our community, and why maybe somebody would want to donate plasma. So with our donors, they come in and they donate a lot of time. Uh, when I say a lot of time, it takes about 70 to 80 minutes from the start, they, some, from the time they come in the building till the time they leave to donate plasma. And so because of that, we can compensate them with some money that goes on a prepaid card. Um, and it starts at $25 in the month and it goes up by $5 each interval of donation. So oh. 25, 30, 35, 40. So, when a donor comes into your facility, they uh, they go through a pre-screening process. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, a a medical or a physical of some sort. I know that we we went through this prior. Um, the plasma is collected. It's stored here on site, and then it's shipped to laboratories where they actually are able to put it into medication. Is that correct? Yes. Explain that a little more in detail. Okay. So yeah. So we store it here. We have some big freezers that run at very very cold temperatures. Yeah. And uh, then that plasma is shipped to L.A or North Carolina or even to Barcelona, Spain, where it's made into medication after we've tested it to make sure that it's safe for the donors to receive it, or the patients to receive it, I should say. What level of, you know, group in our population are you guys servicing? How many people do you think are affected in a positive way by the medications you're able to manufacture? Yeah, it, locally, that's a, that's a hard number for me to know right yeah. off the bat, but I know that we have uh, several individuals within Spanish Fork that do benefit from plasma derived medication awesome. so and it takes uh, for one of them it takes 900 donations a year to make their medication so one person needs 900 donors wow. a year and we well, get about significant. Yeah. you know about 1200 through our center a week now so that you can kind of do the math why why donation is so needed yeah. So that kind of helps all of us at home realize how vitally important our donations can be to those who are the recipients of the, of the medications yeah. Awesome. Sure. Wow. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, so another question, Jesse. Tell our viewers today, how can they get involved with Biomet? Uh, what is the process as far as them coming in, becoming a donor, and getting involved in donating plasma here at your facility? So we have an appointment-based system where you go to SpanishForkBiomat.com, B-I-O-M-A-T, mm -hmm. um, and you set up an appointment. The first time is going to take a hair longer. Like you said, we have to do a physical just to make sure you know, that you're a healthy person because we don't want to take plasma from you if you need your plasma. Right. Um, and then after that, you just make those appointments the same way and you can come in up to twice a week. So Jesse, can you tell us um, what is your typical donors or what's your ideal donor that you're looking for for the Biomat Center? So we want relatively healthy people. That doesn't mean if you have something that, that you're disqualified. Um, we just want to make sure, again, that you're, yeah. you, you have the plasma that you need for, your, for yourself. But we just, we look for people who are over the age of 18 um, who are, like again, genuinely healthy, and then that uh, can, can make the time commitment to come in. We go through a physical, where we'll meet with one of our medical staff, and they'll ask you some questions like about past diseases or surgeries or different things, okay. just to make sure that everything falls in line and then that you're good to go. So uh, when I say who is our typical donor, it's basically most of the Everyone. residents in Spanish Fork. Um, since the reason we are seeing such an increase of donors here in this area, um, it shows that like the Spanish Fork population is our ideal location. Gotcha. So, so first of all, your what is the address here at your location? Because I know everyone recognizes it as recognizes it as the old Joanne's building, but what's the address? It's 450 North Main Street. Okay. How long have you guys been here now? So we opened uh, late August of last year. Okay. So. so not even quite a full year, but right. yet you're seeing large numbers of donors coming in. As business of the month, 
we recognize you because of the goodwill you're doing in our community as well as the success you're having. Maybe just tell our viewers some of the things that the Biomat's been able to do here in Spanish Fork to give back to the community. Yeah, so we've we partnered with partnered with several organizations here in the community, Tabitha's Way being one of them, mm -hmm. um, and giving back with school supplies, uh, donated money for um, other like sporting events, the high schools in the area, some of those things, but also just like donated time from our staff to help with those different um, things that are going on. The Harvest Hurrah, we've tried to get some people to that, the trick-or-treatings, just lots of different things in the community because we're grateful to be a part of the community. And Griffles, um, one of our, our things is we want to be a, Family. We want everyone to feel that Griffles family spirit, and that's what we're trying to embrace here in Spanish Fork. What an asset to our community. Yeah, Thank that's you. That's wonderful. Yeah. Again, um, congratulations on behalf of the Spanish Fork Chamber, Jesse. I just want to say congratulations to you and to Biomat. Um, also want to thank Channel 17, uh, SFCN, for being here today, as well as thanking Macy's for our cake for the Business of the Month. And um, uh, thank you for all you do in our community, and thank you, Spanish Fork. Have a great day.